Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 16 gameplay. Today we got some draft champions. We're going against Shake and Bake again. And this time we're going to have a new team going against Shake. The first two times we played Shake we had the same team. And now we have a chance to add Luke Keekly. How do you pass up on Luke Keekly on this pick? Tell me how you pass up on Luke Keekly. I can't. I, I absolutely love Luke Keekly and Madden. You know who else I love? Thomas Davis. Those Panthers... They got some great linebackers, man. So, you know what? Jarius Bird looking good. But we're once again going to pass on Elite Free Safety and take a Panthers linebacker. You see, our linebacking core is already stout. And we have a chance to add another one in Junior Goulet. But we're going to pass on Goulet. We're also going to pass on Jeremy Hill. And we're going to take Morgan Burnett. We need to eventually get some secondary help. We need to eventually get a safety. So, Morgan Burnett's going to have to be that guy for now as Jason Witten comes out in round six. But also, Philip River, Rivers comes off. You don't want to go too long without picking a quarterback. So, I'm trying to figure out. Do we take Witten? Do we take Rivers? I'm like, you know what? Let's get Witten. Let's get a receiving threat. And then in round seven, we already have a strong safety. But there's two Giants that I definitely love to add to the team. JPP, DRC. Cornerback, another pretty important position with those one-on-one -on -one jump balls. And DRC can play them pretty well. So we're going to take DRC. As you guys see, we end up getting the Honey Badger as our free safety in round eight. Then on to round nine. Again, a chance to get a quarterback. Also a chance to get a great center. Now, last time we played Shake, we played with Jimmy Garoppolo. So I'm not really trying to play with um Brandon Whedon this time. I don't want to play another silver quarterback. But... You know, we need to get a little bit of offensive line help. So I'm thinking, you know what? Once again, we don't need the safety. We'll go with Unger. Then round 11 comes up. LaShawn McCoy. Ew, we took Torrey Smith. I'm not too sure how I even feel about that pick watching that right now. I'm not too sure why the hell we passed on Shady. But all I know is round 12, this is not really, you know, a debate. Aaron Donald. This is the guy you take, all right? Aaron Donald. I mean, the only thing is maybe you take the cornerback, but Aaron Donald. In that situation, you take Aaron Donald, all right? I hope I made my point clear. Round 13, we don't need the safeties. What we do need is a receiver, so we'll take T.Y. I mean, we could use Grimes, but we'll pass on him. And round 14, kind of get bailed out because we didn't have the quarterback the whole draft. We don't have a quarterback or a running back, all right? So... You know, we could use Brandon Whedon. We can also use Matt Stafford. And I definitely rather had St ra have Stafford with the weapons we drafted. And then we get to the legend round. Horn, Dawson, Atwater. I kind of wish we could have like a Walter Jones. Probably would have taken Walter Jones if he popped up. We could use a nice left tackle. We're how not going to use the center. We already have our safeties. We already drafted two of them. So I really don't want to take a receiver here. And, you know, it makes me regret taking T.Y. But... Joe Horn is going to have to be the pick here. So we take Joe Horn, and now here's our team. Looks decent. We Offensive line can use a little bit of help, but um, we didn't really have a running back anyway, so it's going to have to be quite a few passes if we want to beat Shake, which is pretty um, different than the last time we played Shake when we had the all-offensive line team and Arian Foster. As you guys see, he's got the opening kick return. He's juking to the outside, getting a gain to the 28-yard line. First play of offense. He got lit up by DRC. He's got RG3 as his quarterback and LT as his running back as you guys saw his top players there now he's looking to go inside first down in 10 or he'll hit the comeback round absolute dot by rg3 in the corner right there shakes moving the ball with ease right now as he's looking to go to the flats but rg3 tosses this one to a coach in the sideline second down and 10 screen pass call we're looking to blow it up and we do we had to make sure lt didn't you know get a couple extra yards get that yak because then that's when we'd be in trouble and he's in trouble for testing the honey badger i believe he has a ty hilton of his own and you know the honey badger is no one to mess with all right so um, don't throw it at him, even though he's only 5'9". He's got moves. You see Bobby Rainey out here. We're not really going to get too much of a running game going, all right? With the way the team we drafted, we're probably not going to get too much of a running game going, so we got to come out passing. Third down and 12. T.Y. Hilton close. We got to see we got the first down. Yes, we did. Barely we got the first down as we're going to find the Bobby Rainey. We had a lot of time in the pocket right there to eventually get the man open. I mean, if you get that much time, usually the defense will break. As you guys see, he comes out in tight man coverage. Defense didn't really break, so no one was open. <laughs> it's when, when it comes to that man coverage, you know, sometimes the defense won't break. But zone coverage, eventually you'll find someone open. As we run a cross screen right here for Bobby Rainey. Rainey getting some touches in this first drive, but not too many yards. It looked like it could have been more, but we get a gain of five. Decent gain. Keep the drive going. Move the chains. T.Y. Hilton. First down, very methodical drive so far, but it means nothing if we don't score. And we're looking to score right now, going deep. But it's picked off by Khalil Mack, who gets 
lit up by T.Y. That was intended for T.Y. I don't know why Stafford threw it that way, but still a good pick by Shake. Only to throw a pick on the next play to Thurman. A lob pass was not the right idea. And then we throw the pick. Back to back to back picks. I looked for Witten. I thought Witten would absolutely kill that silver corner on the post route, but I don't know. He played really good coverage. And um, for the first time in a couple of plays, there was not an interception. We know how to throw things besides interceptions. As you see with Damian Tomlinson, second down and one. Safe play call right there just to move the chains and get the first down. Not bad. Next play, looking to go deep. And he has a man for it on first down. RG3 already got two interceptions. Trying not to throw that third. And he almost did. Luke Keekly. Finger wagging out there after swatting that pass away. Second down, LaDainian Tomlinson has been bottled up so far. Three rushes for seven yards. Because of that, it's third down and long. He's looking to go deep, but no one is open. He rolls out with Robert Griffin the third and gets a gain of five and actually punts the ball. We return to punt here, even though we easily could have let that go into the end. So I'm like, let me just try to return this. Why not? You know, this is me and Shaker playing for fun right now, and I'm playing like trash right now. Stafford's numbers. It was all methodical until a certain point where I just didn't know how to make a read. And now since third down and 10, and we're barely able to squeeze it past to Jason Wynn. Thankfully, you know, Wynn's a tough guy in the middle there. We could count on him to make those catches, and we definitely needed him for that. As you see, I don't know why I didn't see Bobby Rainey wide open. I just didn't see anybody. I can't make a read right now, but what I can do is I can't and find my legend Joe Horn. We gotta get Joe Horn some touches, and Joe Horn got one right there. 24 seconds left before half. Jason Witten's wide open in the middle of the field. Jason Witten going, going, and gone. Jason Witten with the long touchdown. That's not a sight you see every day. Jason Witten is not about that life. I don't know what in the world happened to Shake's defenders, but yeah, we'll take it, man. Shake <laughs> definitely gotta be scratching your head after Jason Witten gets a 50 yard touchdown. Looked like cover too, but um. Still, I don't know how. As you see, LT breaking a tackle right before halftime. Trying to get a big gain. Three seconds left. Obviously, this is a Hail Mary situation. RG3 can't get the pass off. I believe, yeah, Aldon Smith with the sack. We have a bunch of really good linebackers. So that is definitely the strength of our team if there is a strength, all right? I definitely like the way our linebackers are. And that's why LT hasn't really gone anywhere. It was a good draft for who Shea drafted. Obviously, I didn't know who Shea took before the game. You see Stafford under immense pressure bringing up a third down. But it worked out for us. Third down and six. Looking to go in the middle of the field. Got a lot of time. Bobby Rainey barely able to get that pass. Khalil Mack had the coverage. But eventually, Rainey was able to free himself. And right now, that's the problem with Shea. He's just not getting a pass rush. We have way too much time to dissect the field in some of these plays. Second down and three. A little bit of a run game with Rainey. I just want to move the chains. But out of nowhere came one of his defenders to shut that down third down and three a little spot route right there for ty that's an easy first down just let ty get the ball we're all good i'm looking at jason witten in the flats rolling out and we eventually hit Witten. i'm like all right i can't play around i gotta hit win and be still open at this point i just want to see if anybody else got open second down and inches again i just want to save run to get the first down but shake with the good user right there to stuff it third down and three jason witten in the middle of the field told you win's a tough guy man i will look for him in the middle of the field to make those catches but right now we just run four verts and he had it all covered up and we end up taking the sack not enough time to throw it away Chandler Jones wrestles down Stafford for a loss of 11 as this time we're gonna take this check down to Bobby Rainey make the third down not third down a super long third down a 14 a little bit you know easier to convert as we start th or we're in the fourth quarter and Joe Horn gets the catch whoop Joe Horn with the juke Joe Horn with the touchdown. 2.45 left in this one, and that was a tough one to give up. Either way, we made it a two-possession game. And if anything for him, the best thing that happened was we scored that touchdown. Because, you know, he doesn't need his clocking anymore this game out, considering there's only 2.35 left right now. He needs to score as soon as possible. He hasn't scored yet, though. That's kind of the challenge. And if you're going to try to score, you got to give LT the ball. But like I said, we got all Verizon LT. Someone else has to make a play if he wants to win this game. And RG3's got a wide open man. I was Andre Caldwell. Not too sure who won those silver receivers. Absolutely wide open. That could easily have been a touchdown. This could easily be a touchdown. T.Y. Hilton moving the chains and getting out of bounds to stop the clock. Now it's a goal-to-go -go situation. Needing to convert for a touchdown. And T. The Honey Badger, my bad, I almost said T.Y. Hilton. That's the Honey Badger, that's not T.Y. Hilton. I think he was trying to T.Y. All I know is, he scores a touchdown for us. He 
meant to throw a touchdown. I don't think he meant to like this though. RG3 can't keep up. I don't know how RG3 didn't catch the honey badger, but it's all good. We got our touchdown, man. And um we both had TYs. I think our TY won the battle of TYs. As you guys see, um the game's pretty much over at this point. So he's just running a couple plays here with LT. He had a chance, you know, he still had all of his timeouts. If he scores that touchdown, he didn't even need to onside the ball. He just needed to play a little bit of defense to get that ball back, but you know, we just shut it down with the honey batter thing, boys. He's looking to go deep. Looks like he has a man wide open. But that's an overthrow by RG3. A back-breaking overthrow. Fourth down and three. He gets the conversion here. But like I said, clock's pretty much running out. So, um, good game to Shake. Uh, the link to Shake's channel will be in the description, by the way. I forgot to mention. Because if you don't know why the heck I keep on saying Shake, like, I know who this guy Kind of do know this guy's commentator on YouTube. Got almost 200,000 subscribers. Mainly a 2K commentator, but also does this Madden stuff. So definitely go check out my boy Shake. Definitely a cool dude. We played a couple of these games before the, um, the game actually released. So it was fun playing with Shake. Leave a like a video if you enjoyed it. Like I said, subscribe for more. I'll catch you guys next time.